The Golden Joystick Awards. My god, if you ever needed proof that gaming is fully dead, this is it, children. I'd like to thank the Golden Go Joystick Awards for letting me know and reminding me about how everything I love will leave me or one day die. Bravissimo. Let's make this video short, Stu, because I don't give a damn. So the Golden Joysticks came out, and guess who won a lot of awards? Guess, baby. Guess you know the answer. We all know. The Last of Us. God damn it, we're f <laughs> mad about this! <laughs> you, Sony! You know, The Last of Us did so poorly, even a video game shill like DSP complained about it. Came and whined and complained and stamped their feet and cried all over fucking social media and the internet, stating the game was pay to win. Two days later. And I'm done with this game now. Goodbye to fucking Shadow of War. It's a shame. It really is a shame that WB Games completely ruined you because you are one of the best games of this year. But the fact that your entire fourth act is a money grind is garbage and I'm not going to play it anymore. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. And that was a guy who was saying really trashy games were good. Um, PlayStation Game of the Year, The Last of Us Part 2. This is ridiculous. I find this abhorrent. The Last of Us Part 2 better than Ghost of Tsushima, bro? Really? This is better than Ghost of Tsushima. What? It had better reviews. The Last of Us is... Dude. The f***ing game lost 80% of its sales in a week. What the f*** is this? This is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It's redonkulous. Jesus Christ. You know what? It's just like the YouTube Awards. Remember when Tiana Margulu won Content Creator of the Year? And everyone was literally like, what the holy f*** just happened? This is the same thing. It's the same thing. Award shows are nothing but circle jerks for the right people. That's all it is. None of this means anything. It makes no sense. It's full of sh Naughty Dog Studio of the Year. Yeah, that's why most of its staff left during the development in the crunch. Studio of the Year, baby. Amazing. What other stupid awards? The actor who brought to life the spirited Miss Marvel, a.k.a. Camilla Khan. Yeah, the character that Marvel is trying so hard to replace Spider-Man with. <laughs> Gotta be sure. <laughs> and every time they reboot the Miss Marvel Camilla Khan <laughs> comic, it always bombs. And then they do it again like we don't know. I'm sorry, nobody wants it. And just because the person who's leading Marvel now, which I think it... Let's face it, this <laughs> character is based on her. It, it is. Anyone who's in the comics knows this. It's garbage. Whatever. It. You know, you can't force this on people. Spider-Man became beloved by people because the focus was on making a good character. Not on shoving it up everybody's ass and then telling them, You like this. And if you don't like it, you toxic male and a bigot. That's not how it works. That's not marketing. Whatever. She has won Best Performer of the Year, the Golden Joystick. We're raising a glass to you. Ah, oh, yeah, the game. Marvel Play Avengers. The game that literally could not recoup its money. It, get me that get me that clip, Stoopy. Get Stoopy. Stu, get it. I know it's here somewhere. Titties. Titties. God damn it. More titties. I never thought in my life I wouldn't get to see tits. Am I right? Marvel's Avengers still hasn't earned back its own development cost. Oh my. Square Enix, which is basically the retarded version of Squaresoft, decided with Marvel it would be a good idea to launch an Avengers game after the MCU was over. Talk about some of the stupidest ideas you could do in the planet. It's like, hey, I'm going to get in a Bitcoin. After the Bitcoin boom is over. Whoa! It's too late now, sunshine. It's over. The epitome is stupid. They stopped making the next Deus Ex for this piece of trash. The player base is gone. Literally a thousand people left. This is probably the only award they could actually get away with giving to this stupid ass game. Where people wouldn't go, that's stupid. But still, on top of that, it's still kind of stupid. Miss Marvel, a character nobody wants is the main character of the game unless you have a PlayStation and you can play as Spider-Man. He's a locked away character. But still, like, nobody wants Camilla Khan. Nobody. 
I'm sorry. The people on Twitter don't count because they're not buying the goddamn books. That's why they keep getting canceled. Whatever. Golden Joystick Awards for the win, baby. The joysticking up your ass. Watch the moment when Neil Druckmann accepted up the ultimate game of the the ultimate game of the year award. What? Oh my God! Play it. Just play it so I can get this over with, Stu, before I lose my goddamn mind. 2020. In recognition of a year where games have meant more. I love the empty audience. It's than perfect. ever before. Let's count down the top five games to reveal our ultimate winner. Games meant more than ever before? On what planet did games mean more than ever before? Am I crazy? Have I lost my goddamn mind? But I don't know about you. Gaming seems like it's more shit <laughs> now than ever. Literally, everyone into gaming is literally saying it twice. Waiting for Cyberpunk to come out. That is it. We don't care about much else. Demon Souls looks good, the remake, but um, I can't play it because I can't get a PlayStation 5 disc version. So suck a dick. Move on, you know? Number five, it's... Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Should have won. Should have won. The game's enthralling. The environment's beautiful. The story's good. I can only do the Japanese version. The voice acting on that was amazing. It's the f it's Zoro from One Piece. How the f did he lose to Camilla Khan? Let it go. At number four, it's Doom Eternal. Okay, Doom's a good game. Doom's a good game, yes. No doubt about that. At number three, we have Final but, Fantasy VII Remake, I don't expect much, but I didn't get to play it. I don't think it's going to be too good, but I could be wrong. It's Genshin Impact. Genshin. Don't know shit about that. But the winner of Ultimate Game of oh the Year 2020 Oh my god, don't do it! The Last of Us Part 2. <laughs> Talk about trash. I remember watching his Korean streamer play The Last of Us Part 2. He took the game disc out of the PlayStation and broke it live on stream. That's how frustrated with the game he was. And they're like, it's the game of the year. <laughs> I am not going to lie. This is pretty sweet. Um, I guess for one, it's just amazing to be in company of such amazing games. It's been an incredible year for games, and we are fans of Ghost of Tsushima. Did better than Last list. of Us Two. Ghost of Tsushima doesn't win. Last of Us Two does. Talk about three. my um, God. To the team, um, to my team, to our team that pour their heart and soul into this game. I know you guys don't do it for the sales or for these awards, but I hope this is some form of value. I can't sit through this, dude. Um, I could not be prouder of this. Oh, bullshit, Druckmann. There was more virtue signaling for that goddamn game than a little bit, to the point of where it was just annoying. It was obsequious, really. It really was. I just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> it's just... That's why I only did, like, maybe one or two Last of Us videos and walked away, whereas to other people just sort of milked it. Because I didn't want to be bothered. That's how tired of it I was. I was so sick and tired of the Last of Us garbage. Wrong. I'm okay. How about this one? That And fuck, we'll go with that. That I just didn't want to talk about it no more. I was just like, this. I'm out. I don't care. I know what they're doing. And I don't want to be bothered with it. Ugh, play it, Stu. Let's get through this. Yes, let this be the form of validation. A game that was universally panned by gamers. The only people who tout that this is amazing are all on Twitter. And we all know that Twitter is literally a cesspool of progressive, ridiculous ideas. Twitter is full of people who are hyper on the left now turning on each other. I watched a transsexual woman yell at a lesbian saying, you are, and I quote, homophobic and suck the dick, you bigot. I can't take it no more, still I can't do this. I can't. I can't. Why do I have to do this? I hate this. 
I want to I want to play video games and get paid for it. I, I why can't I be like Jack Septicai? I can do that. Top of the morning, ladies. Hi, Picora. I'll even show up dressed as a goddamn leprechaun. You pay me Jack's money. I'll dress as a leprechaun. I'll hang out with Mr. Beast. I'm going to tell him to find me lucky charms. I'm going to hide a pot of cocaine in his house. And then call the police on him. Because that's who I am. That's the type of rat you're dealing with. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, look I'm just looking for an excuse not to watch the rest of this. You know what I am glad about? At least coronavirus kept this from being like this major thing where he could get on top of a fucking stage and a bunch of people hand him an award and then clap while he pretends he did something sanctimonious when he just made a game that was completely and utterly derisive that pissed off many of the fan base and people who weren't fans. I was interested in the game till I saw it was going on. I was like, no, I don't want any of this. Zill was going to buy the game till he saw it was going on. It literally turned off people who didn't even have a horse in the race. And thankfully, coronavirus has kept them from having their moment of standing on a goddamn stage and then pretending like they were some sort of freedom fighters or heroes. Like they toppled some sort of fascist regime when all they really did was make a game that was slightly annoying and two in your face. Oh, humans are the real monsters. No shit, Sherlock. How about you make a game where I can have fun? Because that's what I'm here for. It'd be like going to a strip club to see a stripper. And instead of the stripper dancing, she comes to you to talk to you about gender diversity. I'm not here for that. I'm here for hot, sexy action. I'm here to get away from my dark reality. And instead, we have a game about a darker history that's as shit as it is now. Well, I don't even know my point. I'm sure there's more awards too. I'm not watching it. I don't care. I don't care. YouTube's not going to show people a video anyway. Only a few people are going to get notified, so why should I torment myself? No. Fine, play Neil Druckmann as I leave. Killed it in more ways than one is uh, Ellie and Abby. The game would not be what it is without your guys' um, contributions, your um, amazing performances. Um, and then I guess finally, since I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing from me, uh, let's how much longer is this? Uh, thank you to every single fan. How far into the sunset must I walk? Uh, this being a fan award. Yes. Good stuff. You have no idea Fantastic. What it means to we've, me and the rest of the we've team defeated racism. Finally hard, um, to make you proud. I love the comments though. You. you literally just see people upset with this. They're just like, this sucks. Basically, people are like, oh, it's rigged. You Golden Globes, Golden Joystick, whatever. The only thing you've done is you've now lost what little credibility you had. But then again, maybe they're not to blame. Maybe it was like the Twitter pundits that were just like, okay, let's all mass vote for this shit. Just so we could stuff it to the haters. Let's get some bots, guys. Let's make sure it wins an award. Yes! Because that's who these people are. Um, the actor who brought to life the spirited Miss Marvel, a.k.a. Camilla Khan, in Play Avengers has won best performance in this year's Joyce. <coughs> <coughs> I couldn't even get through it. Give me a second here, man. Holy shit, bro. A word from our sponsor. I've been enjoying Surfshark for a little while now. Actually, since I've gotten it for free. Thank you, Surfshark. I've been using it to watch some of my favorite anime on Netflix. And you can watch your favorite British television or Australian. I could feel it in me waters. Oh boy, that didn't sound very Australian, did it? Surfshark has no login information. So basically, when you use Surfshark, they don't follow what you're doing. Nobody knows what you're doing. So now, you can watch those adult fuzzy tingle time videos shame free they have hacking lock id protection so if someone gets through your email they'll let you know also blind search and smart dns did i mention this also works on disney streaming services and maybe a few more most likely it seems to be working for me i don't really check out disney plus but you may do so 
Go to Surfshark Deals slash It's a Gundam and enter the promo code It's a Gundam for 83% off and three months free. What's left? I'm not watching.